Everyone has their favorite movie cameos, whether it's your favorite comedian, a star you didn't expect, or even a bit of fourth wall breakage. Cameos are essential parts of some films and absolutely hated in others. That being said, professional athletes are not known for their acting. We can talk about Space Jam all we want, but that's Michael Jordan, the original GOAT. There's nothing he can't do. So without further ado, here's a top five list of cameos made by athletes. In the fifth spot, your favorite boxer with a face tattoo, Mike Tyson. He didn't have to play a huge part in The Hangover to stand out. It's Mike Tyson, and that's all the film needed. Of all the stars in Hollywood, Bradley Cooper gets to watch Mike Tyson jam out to Phil Collins, and it's everything I could ever ask for. Coming in fourth, Carl Weathers in the Rocky films. Some of you may not know this, but Weathers played four seasons in the National Football League. He also made a good amount of money punching Sylvester Stallone. Weathers owned the part of Apollo Creed, and I can't think of anyone else I'd want to play that role. And that third, Johnny Weissmuller. Who? Johnny Weissmuller. He's a five-time Olympic gold medalist in swimming. Yeah, and he won bronze in water polo, too. He was also Tarzan. Twelve times. Twelve. From 1932 to 1948, Weissmuller patented that Tarzan yell that we know today. His athletic su success took a backseat to his Tarzan performances, and that says everything that it should. Second place on the list goes to Ray Allen for his role in the Spike Lee film, He Got Game. Loosely based on the life of disgraced NBA star Stephon Marbury, He Got Game had won Denzel Washington and the NBA's all-time leader in three-pointers made. Ray Allen not only has game in real life, he has it on screen, too. The film highlights the politics revolved around NCAA recruiting practices, and Allen nails the role. And the final spot, most importantly, goes to an awful movie. Space Jam. There, I said it. It's first on the list because it's transcendent. It stood the test of time, it spawned an industry, it's immensely collectible, and people love it. Michael Jordan isn't a great actor, neither is Charles Barkley or Patrick Ewing, but it's great, and it deserves the number one spot on this list. 